Hello, it's Jane Miller here in Hershey, Pennsylvania, the sweetest place on earth, but I'm sure it's very sweet where you are today too. Welcome to the 12 Secrets to Direct Response Marketing. It was 11, but I added one. I'm constantly adding them. However, <laughs> let's go with 12 today. Let's talk about direct response marketing. Just what is it? I pulled this from Wikipedia. So they say it's a type of marketing designed to generate an immediate response from consumers. I like that, immediate response. However, it's also where, where the consumer response can be measured and attributed back to that particular marketing that you did. So direct response in both ways. You're directly marketing to your end result prospect and they're responding back to you because of that marketing. So we'll talk about secrets to get you on your way. The first one is marketing is everything. It's everything. So remember when you first started thinking about going into business or even on your first day of business, you may have went um, to the Chamber of Commerce to a score event or something and, um, or went to the website and looked up all the you know, startup tips. And they talked about things like setting up your home office and getting accounting system, um, talking to your neighbors, let them know what you're doing, um, getting your licenses, and way, way, way down, like step number 20 was marketing. <laughs> they also talked about the wisdom where as long as you were good enough, people will come to you and, and buy everything you have. Or, you know, that if you build a better mousetrap, people would come. If you build it, people would come. <laughs> yeah, right. So the secret is, Knowing how to get customers, that's more important than any other knowledge you can attain. So building that leads list, that's first. Sometimes even before you have a product to offer. Secret two, if you want your phone to ring, your marketing must get people's attention and arouse their emotions. That's the key. Something uh, stirs inside them. They need this, they want this, they must have, whatever it is that you're offering. Third, about direct response marketing is typical yellow pages or other ads get typically lousy results. Think about it, pull, go over and pull your yellow page book out and look in the ad section, which is most of it, and it's really just a big blur. A lot of the ads look all the same. They do nothing to get your attention. Try and find one that actually has an offer on it and a way really for you to respond in a new way. But now look, I like yellow page ads. I use them for my own business. But what I'm saying is my yellow page ads are not typical, so typically I get better results. And this goes for any really of your display ads and other type of things that you're going to do. Make it outrageous, make it different. That's almost not a secret, but you would be amazed. Secret four, new style marketing, rather than those you know, display ads, gets up to 500% greater response than image advertising. And my friends over at uh, Glazer Kennedy, they study this all the time, and they know that it's true. It's amazing. And you know why? Well, news style advertising and marketing doesn't really look like advertising. It looks like news. Um, really, very few people read advertising unless maybe they're looking at their local merchandiser for a used lawnmower or something. <laughs> However, people do read news and stories and so forth. So if we can make our marketing more newsy and educational, we get a much better response. Did you know there's an amazing marketing system um, that actually attracts qualified, motivated, interested, and ready to do business prospects? It attracts them. And then you're not wasting any of your you know, money uh, or doing ooh, cold calling or cold marketing, as it were. The secret is don't market or you know, prospect to anyone who isn't likely to buy your stuff in the very near, near future. We find that the highest profit system is to generate leads who are already interested and then do the follow-up marketing to only them. 
Now, think of this. What better list could you mail than people who have either responded to a free offer that you've had and raised their hand and said, tell me more, I'm interested. This kind of list, with the correct message, correct media, can yield results and profits beyond anything that you've ever imagined. So, no more throwing mud against the fence. <clears throat> this is going to be the whole idea of direct response. Next, with direct response, you need to make it easy for people to raise their hands. Make it non-threatening for them to respond. And again, respond to your emotionally driven news style of marketing and ads. Just look through uh, some of the marketing that comes across our, our computers and our, in our mailboxes and whatever every day. It's amazing how hard folks make it to respond. They might have cute and clever advertising, but it's rare that anyone has a specific offer for you. And then if they do, they often don't make it easy to respond. Maybe they'll only have one thing, you know, come to my email address. What about a toll-free number they can call or a 24-hour free reported message um, that gets them exactly where they need to be? There have been tests done with this, and we know that if there's options for folks to respond, you get a much, much better return. Test. <laughs> so if you're thinking about going out and, you know, buying thousands of a particular brochure, don't, unless you've test, test, tested it even then. A little bit at a time, because things change over time. You want to always test what you're doing. You have to have that mentality to always test everything before you do it, while you're doing it, and afterwards. Uh, what you do is, once you get your um, particular um, campaign in order, you'll take a portion of whatever you know list or leads you're going to do and test different options and test different versions of the thing. Um, and then you're getting results. So if the results are bad, then you need to adjust what you're doing. If the results are good, then you want to do more of the same thing. So the bottom line is the only true measure of what, what is working for you is testing and the results. Secret eight. So do you know what the one question is that your marketing has to instantly answer? And if you don't, people won't even respond. Look, everybody's self-absorbed. They're selfish. They care about themselves, which they should, and their family and friends, of course. But, well, how about you? You know, do you care about me and my message? No, you care about how to get your business rolling using direct response marketing because you've heard it works. You know it works. We have the facts. It's all about you. So the question you must answer is with them. What's in it for me? It's a major point that we always have to remember and understand. So um, if the headline and copies and reports and newsletters you use answer the question, that's great. They'll be money makers for you. But if your stuff and your marketing talks about other things that doesn't answer what's in it for them, they will not respond. Do you know the most important emotion that you can create if you want people to give you a call or contact you. Do you? Are you curious? <laughs> That's what it is, curiosity. <laughs> you know, we're nosy people, whether we want to admit it or not, but think about why the news, um, you know, use teasers as their headlines because, um, because they think they're professional writers. No, we think they use them over and over again because they get responses the teasers. They know something that most advertisers and marketers don't know. The news knows if someone is curious, the person will be compelled to take some action, turn the page, go to the next link on the website, whatever it is, just because we're often curious and nosy. Secret 10. Look, you want to solve all your sales problems? you got to solve your marketing problems. See, selling, in, in a sense we all think of, it is really a dead activity. 
Um, nobody wants to be sold anything anymore. I don't care if it's consultative sales, consultative selling, or, or you know whatever it might be. We don't want to be sold to, but we do want to buy. We want to buy products and services that we think is going to solve our problem. We want it to be our idea. So you know, selling techniques like closing, handling objection, you know, or using pressure. Boy, that is an uphill battle. And here's a way to solve sales problems. Solve your marketing problems. And the sales problems will go away. I love this because, you know, back in the day, my mother told me not, she taught me not to bother people. How do you not bother people if you want to be a salesperson? So I don't. What I do do is direct response marketing. And the folks decide themselves. It's just, it's wonderful. So using the, the techniques, the marketing techniques, you can qualify and motivate and interest your already um, specific targeted prospects and you get them into your marketing funnel that way. Then, of course, you want to create the right relationship, emotional connections, and they're going to want and buy what they need without those hard sells. Secret 11, media. And if you've um, been over to my marketing magnetic, magnetic marketing moments, uh, teleseminars and such, you know that I always preach about message, target market, and media. So it's not a surprise that Secret 11 is using the right media for your marketing. Um, and, and that delivers the right audience back to you when they're receptive and ready for your message. So, you know, you might be dripping to some customers for a while and when they're ready though, um, you can track them and then account for them. So choosing where to place your message and you know again is is hugely important or dependent upon your target market um, but it will stimulate that final step in the system. There's so much technology out there anymore it can get complicated um, so you might you have to get to the right people when they're receptive to you and you can you can ch uh, monitor that. Um, you can you know have your whole again. This goes back to number seven with the testing. You have your whole system set up, and maybe you even find that those um, prospects are more receptive in one time of the year than the other. Um, so once you get started here, you will be tracking and accounting for all this, and surely then it makes it so so much easier. So there we go. We have the oh wait, I have one more secret number twelve. This is great, and this comes from really Bob Berg and Napoleon Hill, Bob Proctor, all the greats. Find someone's system that has already been successful and copy it. I don't mean word for word. I mean see what they're doing and do it yourself. Look, if somebody else did it, you can do it too. Now you know the 12 secrets. So think about the whole picture we've painted for you here in these dozen secrets. and. You know what marketing steps you need to be more effective. We've told you about delivering the right message to the target market and testing it to make sure um, it's good before you spend more money and time. And again, again, target your audience so that you can match up the right message to that market. And then um, find the perfect media. And you know, back to media, um, really. It could be almost anything, websites, email, postcards, mail. Um, how much mail do you get anymore in your postal mail, in your snail mail? Hmm, think about that. What I know is, and wouldn't you agree to, if you implement these 12, just these 12 secrets, you will truly get more business to come to you in a month than you probably did all year, especially in business startups. It's just so much better than strategizing in the basement, again, throwing the proverbial mud on the wall or on the fence to see where it hits. Um, so please, get started on this because I do want you to succeed. We all need to know how to make our own money in this economy. Now, you may be asking, now how am I supposed to do all this? Well, let's start at the bottom here. Miller Institute do-it-yourself coaching. Hey, this piece that you listen to today is really some do-it-yourself coaching. So 
I um, challenge you to go out and find all my little tidbits that are out there on the web. Go to MillerInstitute.com and get on my autoresponder drip. That's a great way to do it. I also have the direct response marketing newsletter uh, that'll come to your snail mailbox every month. And I like to do it that way because you need to sit down with a pen in hand and make notes and, and really noodle this stuff and make it your own. <clears throat> make it your own. And something like uh, marketing consulting and also strategy sessions um, are great fun that I work with clients on really tearing up their marketing strategy and turning it into a direct response marketing magnificence. <laughs> so it's a great thing. So that's a little how to do it. Now you want to act now. Let's talk about why you need to act now. Now I'm not going to give you, well, the offer expires at midnight tonight because I didn't even actually give you an offer except to please come over to MillerInstitute.com and get on my autoresponder drip. That's what you're going to need to do there. Some of the ways you can um, get people to you know, set that alarm, just listen closely how I'm going to set your alarm for you because you know in your marketing, in your business, you are so close to success. You're so close, but I know you're just as close to giving up. I've been there. I've been there. You know, you hope that this is what you need, right? You're thinking about it. Well, let me talk about consequences for not acting. Your family tells you, eh, isn't it about time you give up this hobby and get a real job? Maybe you're maxed out on your credit cards and, you know, all those 0% offers are coming due now. And your sales funnel is empty, so how's that going to work? You started looking at classifieds for part-time work. Ooh, that's an alarm. You're thinking, well, all I have to do is lower my price. Or you're thinking about placing just one more ad <laughs> in the local gazette or whatever it might be, just to see what happens. A lot of mud on the wall there. Obama economics is turning you into what I'm going to call a socialist dependent moron. I don't want you to be there. I want you to get out there and make your own money, make your own way, take power, um, claim your power now, and, and uh, take charge of your life and make it the life you want it to be. This is why I'm so intent on helping you with direct response marketing because it will work for you and it will get your business where you need it to be. I like to just show my kids uh, this whole thing, and that's an alarm for me. I didn't want them to think that they're going to have to go through life and just work W-2s, and you know, it used to be you could stay in a job for 40 years, but no more. And it's it's working great. My son works on driveways, and my daughter makes um, uh, like doggy collars and leashes and treats. They make their own money. It's their choice. Nothing better than choice. What would happen if your business, you just can't get it growing and you have to move back home? And this, this happens a lot. It's out there. Worse, you'd have to move your family in with your in-laws. Woo! Maybe your spouse and your kids don't even see you anymore because you're, you've been in the basement strategizing on your marketing plan all day long. I want you to get this system together. And again, uh, back on number 12, Find someone's system that has been successful and mimic it. So, ready to get started? Gee, I sure hope so. I'm glad you tuned into these 12 secrets today for direct response marketing, and I hope you've learned a lot, a little bit more about uh, what you might do and what you need to do. So, what I, I'd like you to do is drop me a note with your questions and concerns tell me what I can help you with or another um, what you need to hear in the next uh, magnetic marketing moment. If you haven't tuned into the magnetic marketing moment, please head over to uh, MillerInstitute.com or JaneMillerInstitute.com and get on the autosponder drip list. And go do it now or else you won't end up doing it. <laughs> That's the alarm for you today. Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in and please go for it. We need you to.